Welcome to the Vintage Girl Next Door. My name is Lacey and today I have a different kind of video for you. We are baking this apple pie and I tried to use traditional recipe. I used just the Betty Crocker apple pie recipe and also the Betty Crocker recipe for the crust. And uh, I'm not a professional baker. As you can see, this is the first attempt. <laughs> So yeah, hopefully you enjoy it and uh, hopefully it's a yummy pie. So yeah, if you want to see my process, then stick around. Okay, we will start out with our ingredients. There is flour and Crisco, I got the butter flavored kind, sugar, cinnamon, salt, and apples, of course, and nutmeg. So we're going in for the crust first and it is super simple like I said I just got simple Betty Crocker recipe vintage recipe um, off of Pinterest <laughs> and uh, so yeah we're going for the crust so first of all we're gonna do the flour and I doubled the recipe because I have to have a top and a bottom crust so that is two cups of flour one teaspoon of salt and uh, two-thirds cup of shortening and then I'm going to kind of fold that together, like mash it together, I guess. I don't know how to say it with my fingers. So you can use a pastry cutter. I don't have one and I didn't want to buy one and I heard this was the easier way, so went for it with my hands. And now I'm adding the water. Um, you can do four to eight tablespoons of water. I ended up going with six, I believe and just enough water to get it to where it will kind of form together. And so then once it's all together, I molded it into a big ball. And then floured the counter, my surface, and then I am going to cut it in half because I want a top and a bottom crust. And honestly, my crust was far from perfect. Um, this is the first time I have ever made a crust um, from scratch. Usually I just buy the refrigerated one. So I mean, for a first time effort, I'm pretty proud of it. I think it turned out fine. In my next attempt, I will roll it out a little more thin, uh, especially the top crust. The bottom crust was okay. I mean, it doesn't look pretty, but it, it served its purpose and it tasted good. But the top crust, I think, was just a little bit thick. So in the future, I will roll that out more thin. Um, so yeah, so I'm just putting the bottom crust in to my Pyrex pie dish and kind of pressing it in to the pan. And there you have it, bottom crust is in. Now I'm rolling out the top crust. And like I said, I should have done this a little bit more thin. Um, it was just kind of tricky and I don't know like if I needed it too much or if I didn't do enough water, but it was just a little bit hard to work with. So like it, you can see it's kind of tears and stuff like that. So. I don't know, I'll try again and maybe it will go better next time. But it definitely worked and was edible. <laughs> so now I am preheating the oven to 400 degrees and we are starting on the pie filling. So first of all, you have to cut up and peel the apples and core them. So I am I used Brayburn apples and I actually purchased them at the Apple Festival this year, which was a lot of fun. That was like my main purpose. I wanted to buy apples at the Apple Festival and make an apple pie. Mission is complete, folks. So um, yeah, I'm just slicing the apple and peeling it and coring it. And you need about eight cups of apples. So like eight medium sized apples. And now they are all cut up and I am making the filling. So one 
half a cup of sugar, a quarter cup of flour, half a teaspoon cinnamon, half a teaspoon nutmeg, an eighth of a teaspoon salt, and then I uh, just kind of combined that together with my rubber spatula, and then combined it with the apples. mix that till they're all nice and covered and time to put them in to the pie I actually ended up with a little bit of extra apples I don't know if it's my pie dish was just a little more shallow or if my apples were too big but I did end up with a little bit of extra filling And now I am taking two tablespoons of butter and I just cut it into little different little pads and then I am placing them throughout the pie and now time to add on the top crust lattice and so I'm just placing the vertical strips first and then weaving in the horizontal strips just lattice work um, over under situation is all I did and now I am turning under the excess crust and so I'm just taking whatever was hanging over and folding it under and kind of pressing it down and then I took a fork and kind of did a little design on the outside. I don't know, not really a design, but I just pressed it with a fork. <laughs> and then I decided, this was not in the recipe, but I decided to do an egg wash on the outside because I did that on my apple pie and it makes the, the crust a little crispier and shiny and I liked it. So I'm just using a fork because I don't have a pastry brush. I need one of those, I guess, if I'm going to be making more pies, but I just used a fork and it worked just fine. And now it's time to put it in the oven. I decided to cover the edges with foil. I'm really glad I did. Some of them still got a little bit too brown. So I definitely would do that again in the future, cover those edges. And we are going to bake this pie for 40 minutes on 425 degrees. And it smelled so good while it was baking, you guys. And now, it is the moment of truth, pulling out the pie. It looks so nice and golden brown. 40 minutes was pretty much perfectly cooked. Um, I did peek at it once, like you can see some of the foils removed. I wanted to peek at the crust and see how it's looking. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just removing the foil. And here is the finished apple pie. I cut and served it with some vanilla ice cream. I feel like that is the best way to eat pie. And it was tasty. I was proud of myself. It was a fun experience. Thanks so much for watching. I sure hope that you enjoyed this fun little vintage apple pie baking video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more baking and cooking videos, then let me know in the comments and make sure that you subscribe if you have not done so already. I would love to have you around here on my channel and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.